Can I take my vitamins? Ever since I started taking all my vitamins all together, it's been so much easier. Because I used to gag, like, I, I gag once, you know? I used to gag over and over. Anyway, if there's any definition to being perfect, you're perfect at being yourself. Zendaya. Live, laugh, love. Zendaya. Anyway, I quit my job. <laughs> Yesterday was my last day. I'm very sad, but it was for the best because I've been there three months. Damn, for real? Mm-hmm. I was sleeping a lot all weekend and like recovering for the rest of the week. And I would only work two nights. I would work Friday and Saturday nights. And although I did love it and it was very fun, it was just not for me. And that's that, but it was very fun. Like, I enjoyed the experience. I'm glad that I got that experience. Not everybody can say that they're a buckle bunny, that they were a buckle <laughs> bunny. Not anybody can say that they're a pro line dancer. Uh, so, uh, so here's the thing. I discovered my passion for line dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I love line dancing. That was my workout. I stopped working out. I stopped going to yoga. But, like, I feel like I've stayed pretty No, big. your legs are strong. I got to meet people. I got to make friends. I got to make connections. And whatever. Anyway, end of an era. Let's address the elephant in the room. What's the elephant in the room? I do not have a pimple on my nose, okay? <laughs> she had a little health scare. Okay. <laughs> she had like a red mark there for like years. Since we started dating. And then suddenly it got really red and it started getting bigger and then she went to a dermatologist and they burned it off. Again. Comment below if you have a sausage dog that you would literally die for. She almost had your coffee. She can have my coffee. That's the thing, she can. I love all my dogs. I love my dogs. My dogs are my love. My loves in my life. This one is my baby. Your daughter? She's my daughter. Your daughter, right? She's just like me, and everybody that comes over says the same thing. Like, they respect her. Everybody respects it's her. It's because she's a. Wait, what did you want to do later? I don't know. So to do the bookstore. So you know exactly what you want to do. It's not. It's not. Let's do something later. It's you know exactly what you want to do. We're gonna do like this. I don't have meds. I can tell. I can tell. Merry Christmas, everybody. By the way, I've not, I haven't shown my Christmas decor this year. Here's the thing. <laughs> Last year, I did Vlogmas, and then I got depressy. And so this year's kind of triggering around this time because, like, every year has been triggering around this time, and I feel like that's a, that's very normal for a lot of people. But then this year, I just feel like... Like, is it gonna happen? And I'm scared that it's gonna happen again. No, but you've been good. Yes. Because you've been I'm like, like more yourself. You're like. <laughs> Today is a cleaning day. I've literally been laying in bed for hours, knowing that I have a lot to do, but like paralyzed because I hadn't showered. And I'm like, but if I shower, I have to wash my hair, and that's gonna take me forever. And then I end up doing nothing. So I got up and I showered so I can be productive. But you know, when your house feels like disgusting, like so so disgusting that you don't even know where to begin and you want to throw the whole house in the garbage that's how i'm feeling right now which means that i'm gonna feel so much better tonight because the house is gonna be spotless a good cleaning day always starts by making your bed unless you have dirty sheets and it starts by taking off the sheets and washing them however these are clean thankfully one thing that's clean i feel like once my bed is made the house feels a little bit more clean and then i'm more Motivated to do other things. Ta-da! Not perfect. This pillow's kind of random because it was on my couch, but right now I have the Christmas pillows on my couch, so I put it here. Look at my fit today. I love the way that this hoodie fits. A little bit oversized, but it has this thing here, so it's a little cropped. I love wearing gray. Like, a gray on gray set is my go-to for, like, lazy days. But it's from Skims. Look at this huge I just got okay you guys know how much I love skims skims is sponsoring this video I am so grateful and so thankful and I can't wait to show you guys what I got actually before I show you everything I'm gonna go downstairs every time I wear like a gray set Val always goes okay Heather gray and I want to see if she does it today look what the cat dragged in you look really beautiful is that you yes I'm cozy as heck but it looks like it fits me too so thanks oh, what the you didn't say it babe you didn't say it and you're disappointing me right now what? Low rise, babe? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you say tell the camera I was gonna say it? Yeah. Oh, I know. Heather Gray, babe. Yeah. Heather Gray. <laughs> 
There is nothing worse than an ill-fitting bra. When I tell you having just one, just one good bra can change your entire wardrobe and the way you wear your clothes. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the Skims bra and show you exactly what I mean. This is not my first rodeo. I love Skims. I feel like you guys know that if you've been watching for a while. I'm so excited to show you these. Before we even get into the materials and all the different types of bras, the colors, like the color range that they have is absolutely amazing. They have all kinds of neutral tones. They have black, they have, I mean, they have so many options. This one is the weightless scoop bra. It's super lightweight. It's like this mesh material. So it's not like a full coverage bra, but it is very light. And it is wired, so it still gives you support. Whereas this one is just like a regular bra, but I don't think it's fair to call any Skims bra a regular bra because they are not doing it like any other brand. My biggest pet peeve with bras is when they poke out of your shirt. And that's typically because it doesn't fit right, but I've never found that even my correct size in other brands fit me as perfectly as the Skims bras do. And this material is super foamy and super soft. I feel like you really have to touch the skims bra to understand what I mean. A lot of the bras have that same kind of material. This one though is a push-up bra and I've never been a push-up bra girl because I found them so uncomfortable and I always felt like they would cut my boobs like at the top. So if I put on a shirt over it, you could see the bra and I just, ugh, that bothers me so so bad. This one, however, none of that. This one is their wireless bra. It kind of feels like the regular bra, just without the wire. That's what I mean by options. Like, they have every combination possible. This one is more of an everyday bra for me because I am a comfy, comfy girl, but it still gives me structure. And then this one's also wireless, but it's the push-up version. However, it's not as push-up as the other one because the other one is wired, so it feels even comfier. The last two are very similar because they have the same material super mesh super see-through but they are wired but I'm gonna show you the difference because it's all about the shape of them and I say the best for last these two are no show bras also so they have that seamless edge it truly truly is seamless but this one fits more like a regular bra in terms of shape and my absolute favorite bra. It's my most worn because of the shape of it. I feel like it's very sexy. It's the balconette bra in the mesh material. Specifically in black, I love a good black bra for like going out and stuff. This has to be my favorite one just because of the shape. Like the balconette shape is everything. It's everything. But yeah, make sure to check out Skims in my description because if you have yet to try, one, I recommend all their products, but I feel like if you have a good foundation, it is so much easier to create an outfit. Trust me, once you have like a good foundation, you will feel so much better about your clothes. Good morning. It's Monday. <sighs> Yesterday I was determined, determined to be productive because my house was like super messy. I wanted to just like get up and clean it, but I was exhausted because I had worked the night before and it was my last day of work and I had come home and it was like three in the morning. I barely got any sleep. But also, I was recording myself putting the cushion covers on the couch. And while that was happening, I started feeling sick. And I think it was my blood sugar. This happens to me, this happens to me often. This is the elf, what he did today. How did he know you were sick, bro? Because he's watching me. Literally. It says, heard you're sick. Santa says feel better, here's some tissue. Side note. Look at all the ingredients that are here. I told Mateo I was gonna make oatmeal and so he took everything out and everything was waiting for me there when I came downstairs. He's so cute. And this is avena. This is the best oatmeal ever. You're gonna typically find it in like the Hispanic food section. I grew up eating this and it's the only oatmeal I will ever buy. So then last night I ended up falling asleep at like nine, which is unheard of because I haven't fallen asleep that early in months. Point is, I got delicious sleep. I feel rested today. It's 7.30, I woke up at like seven, six something, and I feel good. Like, I feel like I slept. Anyway, I took a shower this morning. I'm in my skins again. Do you ever wake up so hungry, so hungry, that you could literally eat the entire world? Cause that's how I'm feeling right now, and I need to go buy groceries, cause all I have is like eggs and nothing else. Or oatmeal, but I don't want oatmeal. I want something Thick. Like I want like a sandwich. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's go get groceries. We got the goods. We got the goods. We got the goods. The way that I'm basically having lunch. It's so exciting. I act like I haven't eaten in days. I had. What did I have for dinner? 
I actually don't think that I had dinner. I had a bunch of snacks though, so that was my dinner. I am so hungry. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you a haul right now. Car haul. Okay, I bought a baguette. I bought this zesty Italian dressing. Prosciutto. Vermont cheddar cheese. Um, oh, that's not even the <laughs> cheese. This is the cheese. White cheddar. I got turkey breast. I got salami. And I got arugula and olives. All right, you are not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> you don't understand how happy I am right now. I'm so excited. Only one thing, I forgot tomatoes. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10, it's missing the tomato. Lola, outside. Absolutely drenched in sweat, but my house is clean. But like, I need to go Christmas shopping. I know I feel like I need to shower again, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just a sweaty girl. Also, tell me that I'm not the only one that hasn't gone shopping and Christmas is less than a week away. It's a week away. I've only really shopped for Mateo, which is honestly the most important part of Christmas. So everybody else is getting what they're getting this year. I feel like we're all on the same boat. So tell them. Tell them what? Tell them. What? Wow. That your sandwich is delicious? That part. Bruh, you make me nervous, what? Wow. Tell them we got back together. Oh. We never made like an official YouTube announcement. Yeah, we literally got back together, we so, lived together. So I like, posted a TikTok the other day and everybody was like, what? And then I realized like, people don't know. She can't live without me. That's literally the point. I did a little bit of Christmas shopping today. <laughs> what are you sitting up there? <laughs> She's crying. She wants, a, I got, Come. I can't say that Come. on the video because I'm gonna spoil it. I got my sister something that she wants. That Lola wants too. No, L that Lola wants. Oh. She wants to get it so bad. L L and now she wants to eat my sandwich. Confirm your mother She's about so that. She don't buy it for you. And the thing is that I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the afternoon, but like the sun is already gone, but like I want coffee so bad right now. No. How about a little bit of coke with me? I just, I don't. Can you show them the books that I bought? Can you hand them to me? This is how we're gonna end the She box. loves to buy books that she doesn't even, she hasn't even finished. Look, there's a book that she's been reading right here. Okay, right. but this one, guys, this one, I've had for months. I I've been reading opinion. for months. Okay, they told me, you, the TikTok girlies Ooh. told me that this was gonna be a spicy book. I just like can't get into it and it hasn't, it has not one spice and there's fairies in it. And I, I just have never 
read this type of book, like fantasy. That's not my thing. I never watched like Game of Thrones. <laughs> I just feel like I need to finish it and then like I can actually, but I just can't get it. The sandwich is so good. So these are the books that I got today. I got Eileen. I heard the book isn't great, but I heard it's not bad either. But the movie just came out, so I wanted to read the book before I watched the movie. And I got this one. I'm a fan by Sheeta Patel. I heard it's really good and those covers are really nice right <laughs> and it was like it was the last one at the bookstore so it was meant to be don't trust the girl in the bookstore that's especially this girl right here <gasps> not the stanley i'm over here caressing my coffee maker well that's it for the vlog guys she's gonna go make me some coffee bruh see you next time check it out <laughs> <laughs>